Good evening, everyone. Welcome to class. Good evening. Hello. hello, hello. Welcome. Let's start. Okay, just give me a second. I want to share my screen. Okay. So today we're going to have a reinforcement class. Okay. And let's get started with our idiom of the day. Okay, so the idiom here is, can you guys help me read? What is it? Don't cry over a split milk. Very good. Have you heard this before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is the meaning of that? Well, it says that perhaps you don't have to be still crying <laughs> because something uh -huh. has happened you know it it's past now so you don't have to still worrying about it exactly you have to move on very good okay so yeah. correct correct so you got it right so i'm glad you've heard it before let's take a look at the example we have over here jorge can you help us read Don't cry over spilled milk, mm -hmm. meaning don't be upset, worried, or unhappy about something that cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. Example, I burned birthday cake, but there is no time to cry over mm -hmm. spilled milk. Mm -hmm. We just serve cookies at the party instead. Exactly. There is no time to, to regret. You just have to find a solution. So can you guys go ahead and help me out with one example using the idiom, don't cry over spilled milk. So as you notice, we can say spilt or spilled. This past participle form has two options, spilt or spilled. You can use either or. So let's work in, let's take a couple of seconds to think of an example that we can apply where we can apply this idiom right here. You didn't take care of your cell phone mm -hmm. and now it's broken. So don't cry over spilled milk. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. You have a chance to take care of it, but you didn't, very good. In what situations do people cry over spilled milk? For example, when you buy a car and mm -hmm. the first thing that you do is uh, make it on a scratch. Mm. Oh my, that's a terrible thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you cannot do it, right? So uh, you cannot cry over this building. Exactly, you have to fix it. Okay, very good, yeah. very good. Yeah, scratching your car when it's a new car or when you just bought it must be terrible. All right, very good. So great. So uh, we're speaking about crying over spilled milk because today's today's session is related is related to to this action that is very common. We we sometimes do it. We all do it. We regret. You see, we regret. Let me know if my screen goes green. We regret doing or not doing things. We like to think about hypothetical situations 
about the past and we all know we cannot change the past. So let's see. So in tonight's session, we're going to talk about regrets, past and real situations. Okay, I'm pretty sure you've heard this before, you've studied this topic before and you use it uh, every day, but we're going to reinforce it. So let's see. So we have a situation here. Fabrizio, can you help us read? Yeah, if they hadn't had problems in their relationship, they wouldn't have broken up. All right, very good. So I think we're all aware of what's going on between these two people. Like we have heard about it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, so we have a situation here. All right, I'm going to ask you questions. Are they still together? What do you know or what have you heard? No, they're not. Okay, uh -huh. so not together anymore. Okay, so very good. Okay, now, all right. Did based based on the sentence here, do they have problems? Yeah, based yeah. On, on the idea here. Okay, so they had problems. Very good. Okay, they had problems. Okay, very good. And uh, based on the sentence here, okay. Are they still together or not? They are not. Okay, so they're not together. Let's see. Not together anymore, right? Okay, very good. So with this information here, we're going to analyze the structure of the idea right here. Okay, so right here we have a past situation, something that happened some time ago. Okay. And uh, can we change the past? Yes or not? Can we change something that we did or didn't do in the past? Is it possible? No, we cannot. No, right, sadly, but it's not possible. Okay, so here, the situation here is, okay, that they had problems, you see. But when we want to imagine an unreal situation about the past, we, we like to imagine things happening in a different way than the way they happened, okay? So that's why this, this idea over here that happened this way, this is real. We're gonna write it here, okay? If we want to, to imagine a different situation happening in the past, we want to twist it to change it to the opposite idea. And then we say, if they hadn't had problems, okay, then we would have a different result now. And uh, we would say, they wouldn't have broken up. Because the truth is that, or reality is that they broke up. You see, they're not together anymore. Okay, so this structure right here, is what we call, take a look. This is the third conditional in grammar. And the purpose of it is to talk about, you see, Jorge, can you help us read this part here? This very part right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. things that didn't happen and their imaginary results. Okay, thank you, very good. Okay, so, so we always look back into the past and we like to imagine things happening in a different way. So we think of things that didn't happen and their imaginary results. So we like to imagine, we know that things happened uh, in a certain way, but we always want to talk about different situations uh, about the past that of course we cannot change. Okay, so this is why this is a structure. Okay, when we want to talk about hypothetical situations, this is a structure that we follow. So we say, we have a condition here, okay? This is how we start our hypothetical situation, okay? Let's see. Okay. And I say, if I had studied harder, okay, so we have if, and then we have past perfect. We form past perfect by adding the auxiliary had plus the past participle form of a verb studied and we can have a complement harder in this case so here we're setting up the condition if i had studied harder 
So Fabrizio, when I say if I had studied har harder, did I study harder or I didn't? You did not. Exactly. Okay. So, but I want to imagine, right? Because now I'm crying because I flunked my subject. And I say, if <laughs> yeah. I had studied harder, I want to imagine at an imaginary result or a different situation. And then I have the result part here. Okay. Let's write it down over here. Okay. And then in this part, I am going to use would have. You see, have is just an auxiliary. Okay. This is part of the formula. All right. And plus a past participle verb, a verb in the past participle form. So then I say, Jorge, what do I say? Can you help me read? I. Mm -hmm. I will help us. Oh, but I didn't. Reality is I didn't. I flunked it. Yeah. So I would have passed if things had been different. You see, this is how we like to torture ourselves sometimes, thinking about the things and the possibilities that we could have chosen, but we didn't. Do you have any questions so far before we move on? Or are we good? So far so good from me. So far so good. Okay, very good. Are we good, Jorge? Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's see. Okay. So let's see. Jorge, help us read this this portion right here. We have. What's the situation here? Okay. He was late for work in many time. He lost his job. Oh, very good. Okay, so we all know that we can lose our job if we do not follow the rules and getting work early is part of the rules. Okay, so now we want to imagine a different situation. How can we establish the situation? What do you think? How can we talk about this past situation in an unreal way? Imagining a different result. What could we say? We can start with the very first part. Let's see. All right, let me give you a hand. Okay, this part here. This is what he did. Okay, so let's twist it in the opposite way. We're going to imagine a different condition. How can we build the condition? Mm. If he had a gotten early for work. Okay, very good. We can say that definitely. So if he had gotten early, okay. If he had you said gotten early to work, right? Yeah. Okay. Early to work. Okay. Very good. Okay, now we can talk about the result. He lost his job. Now we need to twist it to the opposite way. So what what would have happened? He, mm -hmm. yeah, or, he wouldn't mm -hmm. lost uh, the So we say he wouldn't. We need an auxiliary. Do you remember it? He wouldn't. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? I, Do you want me to give you a hand? Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> I have so the Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So he wouldn't have, and then. He wouldn't have loved himself. Okay, very good. Okay, great. Awesome. Exactly. So take a look. The idea is pretty similar. Okay, so you see? So you said if he had gotten early to work. All right. This is great because he didn't do it. Now we have a similar situation here. Let's see. Fabrizio, can you help us read? We say if he. If he had. Being late, he wouldn't have lost his job. So oh, notice how the second part, the result part, is exactly the same. Okay, so we're saying in the first part, in the condition part, we're saying we're going, we're coming to the same conclusion, right? But we are expressing yeah. it in a different way. Yeah. In the first one, provided the one provided by Jorge, we say if he had gone in early, and here we're saying the opposite, if he hadn't been late. But it's the same in the end. Very good job. Very good. Okay, so as a reminder, hypothetical past situations, this is the formula. In the condition part, we have, look, we're going to start talking in a, in a little. So let's see, in a little time. So let's see, so we have if for the condition, and then we have the subject, if I, 
if you, if he, if my boss, if my sister, anybody, right? Plus the past perfect. How do we form the past perfect? We have an auxiliary with a had, and then a past participle verb, broken, calm, eaten, seen, you see? And then here is the condition part. And now for the result part, where we imagine the different situation, the imaginary situation here. We have a subject and we have different possibilities. We can say would, if we want to express um, possibility itself, like you being able to do something, then we can say could. And if we want to talk about probabilities, then we can use may or might, okay? How likely would a situation happen to happening? Okay, and after that, we use a past. We use a past participle. We use the auxiliary have and the verb in the past participle form. Okay, we're gonna give it a try one more time. So let's see. Here we go. Let me share my screen again. Okay, so look. We usually twist ideas to the opposite side or to the opposite way. For example, he was late for work and the conditional part we say, if he hadn't been late, it's the opposite. You see, I had a, a positive idea and then I twist it to a negative idea. We say he lost his job, ah, he wouldn't have lost his job, okay? We twist it, but sometimes we can establish ideas in the same positive form and in the same negative form. So it depends on, on the meaning that we want to give to the idea. For example, let's see. Let's see. I think we have a new participant. Heidi. Welcome, Heidi. Can you help us read the example here? Sure. Um, good evening. Um, good evening. I, I was not nice to him. He fought with me. Okay. So this is the real situation. All right, very good. This really happened. So now I want to imagine, because this happened to me, okay? Now I want to imagine about a situation that didn't happen. Like I regret, I regret going through this situation right here. And I want to imagine a hypothetical situation. If things hadn't happened this way, so what can I say? So I say, I was nice to him. How can I twist it to a condition where this idea goes the, pos the, the, the positive way? Because this is negative. So how can I talk about a condition here to imagine the unreal situation, a hypothetical situation? How can I say it? I was not nice to him. So I start saying, if I, If I had been what I wasn't to him, so what can I say? Um, if I had been nice to him, mm -hmm. okay, very good. Then he, uh -huh. he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have fought uh -huh. with me. Great! Very good. You did a great job. You see? Okay. So I was not nice. So I want to imagine the opposite. If I had been nice, ah, he fought with me, he wouldn't have fought with me. I would have avoided this situation here. Great job. Very good job. Okay. So let's see. We have some more examples. Let's see. Jorge, can you help me read example number one? If I had been her, I will have told her to call you. Okay. Question for you people. Did I see her? Did I see her? Yes or not? Based on this sentence, did I see no. the person? No. No, right. no. So did I tell her to call you? No. No. So I didn't tell her because I didn't see her. But I want to let you know that if I had seen her, if things had been different, I would have told her, but I didn't. Very good. Fabrizio, can you help us read example number two, please? 
Yeah. If I have studied, I will have passed the test. Very good. So did I study? No. And did I pass the test? Neither. No, all right. So I keep crying over spilled milk. Okay. And number three. Heidi, can you help us read number three? If Lucy hadn't moved to another city, we wouldn't have been friends. One more time. We would? We would have we would have been friends. Okay, thank you. Okay, so did Lucy move to another city or not? Yes. No, she didn't. Okay. If Lucy hadn't moved, hadn't moved. If she, she moved. hadn't moved. So this oh, is Oh, mm -hmm. she she had moved. She 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 did it. She did it. She did, right? So she moved. Okay. The, the, the reality is that she moved, and that's why we're friends or we're not friends. What do you think? We would have been friends. This means that we are friends or that we are not friends. What do you think? Uh, not friends. We are not friends, right? But... Mm -hmm because she's not here. You see, we're not friends. She moved. But I want to imagine, uh, Lucy was such a nice person. And I think if Lucy hadn't moved to another city, we would have been friends. But the truth is that we are not because she left. You see? So we would have been friends. We are changing it to the opposite idea. Mm. I liked her. I wanted to be her friend, but we are not because she left, you see? Okay, now before we start speaking, there is something very important that I want to remind you of. There are contractions for this part where we say had, for the conditional part, you see? For example, if I say, if I had, I contracted to, how do you guys pronounce this? Can you help me? If I very good. So if I say if she had, we say what do we say? We say if she'd listen, if she'd, if she'd, you see. If we had, we say what do we say? If we if we exactly. If they had, we say if. They. 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 Very good. They. Okay. Now, what happens if I want to say the negative, to say it the negative way? I say, if I hadn't. You see? This is the negative contraction. If she hadn't. You see? Same thing here. If we hadn't. And right here, we say, if they hadn't. And of course, we want the past participle verb. If I hadn't moved. If I hadn't, if she hadn't studied. Okay. If they hadn't said something. Okay. So this is for the conditional part. Let's move on to the contraction of the result part. This is the result part. Contractions for would have. Okay. So if you want to say it the positive way, I would have, we pronounce it as would have. You see, can you repeat with me? I would have. I would have. Would have. Exactly. It sounds like this. Would have. Like this. Would have. This is what it sounds like. I would have. Okay. Now, how do we pronounce this? She would have. How do we pronounce it in the contracted form? She would have. Exactly. She would have. Very good. And then what about he? How do we pronounce it? He would have. Okay. He would have. One more time. Would have. 
would up. Would up. Exactly. And the last one, we say, we would up. You see, would up. So this is for the result form. All right. Okay, now I need your help to work on these examples. All right, so we're gonna start with Jorge. Can you give us a hand with the first one? We have the verbs and we have the connotations, if the connotation is negative or if it's positive. Okay, so give us a hand working on these on realistic situations. If I had a team. If, if I, one more time. Oh, sorry. If I hadn't mm -hmm. seen. Okay. Seen. Uh huh. It will be my own eyes. Right. So if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I, and then there's the rest, I. I wouldn't have to leave it. To leave it. Exactly. Very good. All right, great. What about Fabrizio? Can you help us with the second one? Yeah, I was currently reading. Uh, nobody will ever guess he was a thief if he... Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a hand one more time. So, nobody would... Okay, I'm missing the auxiliary. We'll, we'll have... Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just contract. I will... <laughs> we'll, uh, Oh, sorry. Ever, uh, Would have, okay. I will have ever guessed. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a thief. He was, wasn't catch red hand. We're going to use past participles. So we're going to use the auxiliary. Who wants to give me a hand? Mm, I wouldn't have. Exactly. Very good. So, he... Aha. Uh -huh. Been catch. Okay. So, we're going to say bang. Great. Okay. So, past participle right. of catch. Yeah. Call. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Call. All right. No problem. Great. Okay. Hi, Dean. What about number three? Uh, we, we would, we would have been, right. we, we would have been, do you want to say have or had? Had, had. Um, let's see. Uh, but it's be, but it's been. Ah, let's talk about something before we move on. Look at the second example. Okay. So in the second example, we started with the result or we started with a condition? This is for everyone. What started with the result or the condition? And the second one, we started with the, with the result. Exactly. So we can change positions, but the meaning is still the same. So in the first one, we started with a condition. We know the condition is right here because we have the word if, you see? So in the second one, we started with a condition. We started with would have guessed. Would, would have ever guessed. So in the third one, we're starting with the result or with a condition? With the result. Very good. So we can say. We would be, we, we would have mm -hmm. been. Okay. Okay. We mm -hmm. would have been home in bed ages uh -huh. ago. Uh huh. If you mm -hmm. if you hadn't yeah lose past participle lost there lost. you go uh huh the map one more time Heidi can you help us read we would have been home in bed ages ago. If you hadn't lost the map. Oh, this is so frustrating. Can you imagine <laughs> getting lost <laughs> for losing the map? Not the map. Mm -mm. I hope you never have to go through this situation. Let's see. 
Um, Jorge, help us with the next one. And only one question. I guess oh, okay. the second one is wrong, right? It's... The second one. Let's see. Yeah. This part. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, yes, exactly. Good. Thank you. Let's see. So nobody would have ever guessed he was a thief if he, very good. Mm -hmm. that, exactly. That. Let me, give me a second. Okay, very good. So if he has not, uh-huh, and then the same one, right? Yeah. All right. Can you give me a hand reading it one more time? Yeah. Uh, nobody would, would I ever guess he was a thief mm -hmm. if he had not been caught. Uh, Red? Red hand of taking the money from the state. All right, wonderful. Thank you for making the observation. So correct, you see? So we're saying that the second one started out with the result, right? Exactly, and that's why we, we say the past model here would have, and then we're presenting the condition in the second part, and that's why we have the if word right here, and we need to use past perfect right there. There we go. Thank you. All right. So give me a hand her with the next one. She would not have seen. She would not have, okay. Seen yesterday. If mm -hmm. she had known. What person? Has known. Okay, one more time. She would not have seen TV yesterday if she had known what was on. No, maybe she didn't want to see what was on TV. Okay, but she didn't foresee the situation. Very good. Let's see. Fabrizio, give me a hand. This one starts with the condition. If you will willing, if you willing eat so much yesterday, you you wouldn't have problems with your stomach. Okay, very good. So, if we start with the condition, let's go back. Are you guys okay if I go back because we will lose the results here? Are you good with the results? Yeah? Yeah. It, it, it will get deleted. Okay. But I need to go back. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Let's see. We're going back here. Okay. So when we present the condition, we use the past perfect. In the first part, All where right. we are presenting the condition, had plus past participle where we present the result, you see. Oh, give me a hand, a second, okay, here, okay. Okay, and the past participle. And where we present the result, the imaginary result, we say would plus have. So these are best friends. In the condition, had is best friends with the past participle verb. And in the result part, would, is best friends with, you see, with the auxiliary have, the one that we use in present perfect, okay? Are we good to go back to the exercise? Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. Okay, very good, very good. So I think I can send you a screenshot if we want to double check, okay? So that we don't have to go all the way back. Let's see, one second. Okay, very good. So let's see. Yeah, got it. Good. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's go all the way back. Okay. 
so here, right. Okay, so we say. We were the fifth one, I believe. It, oh, if let me. You point, point on it. Definitely here. Mm -hmm. If you hadn't eat so much yesterday, so you, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have problems with, with your stomach. All right. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the one. Okay, so if you hadn't, you said. Okay, past participle of eat. Eaten. Very good. Okay. All right. And then the formula says would plus have and the past participle. Okay, so yeah. you. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't, uh-huh. Okay. Have, have. Uh-huh, very good. It sounds like a tongue twister. Yeah. Okay, so can you help me read the, the whole thing, please? All right, if you hadn't eaten so much yesterday, you wouldn't have had problems with your stomach. Very good. So you had problems with your stomach because you ate so much yesterday. Very good. Heidi, give me a hand with the next one. If Claire had listened to her mother, mm -hmm. she wouldn't marry. She go. wouldn't have she wouldn't have married uh -huh. David. Wouldn't have married. This is a long one. Okay. <laughs> Oh, do you think David sounds like a bad person? I think so. <laughs> Based on the example, right? Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's do one more if each one of us, and then we're going to start speaking. Okay, Jorge, can you help us with the first one? If I had known mm -hmm. you were in the hospital. Uh-huh. I will have it as you. Uh huh. If it is you. Oh, but since I didn't know, I didn't do it. Okay, very good. Fabrizio, help me up with the um, help me out with the second one. Yeah, if you if you had arrived ten minutes earlier, mm -hmm. you will have meet, met her, him, met him. Very good. Yeah. Very good. One more time. If you had arrived 10 minutes earlier, you will have met him, met him. Met Very him. good. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. It happens. Okay. So one more time. You would have, uh-huh. You will have met him. Great. Very good. And Heidi, the last one. If Mary Antoinette, mm -hmm. I hadn't hadn't married Louis Louis sixteen. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't lose. She wouldn't have lost. Okay. He would no. She wouldn't have lost his um. Hmm. Wouldn't have, have lost. Has participle of lose? Lost. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Her head. <laughs> oh my, poor Mary Antoinette. All right, very good, very good. Great job. All right, now this is the part where we start speaking. Okay, so let's see. Give me one second. I want to share my screen one more time. But my internet is quite slow right now. Just one second. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. So just remember, no, there is no need to, to worry about what we're saying. If there is something we need to correct, we will just correct it and nothing will happen. This is, this is part of the learning, okay? So let's see, just give me your opinion. I want to hear you speaking, that's all I want. Okay, 
So here we go. We're going to start with Jorge. So the first question goes to you. Let's see. Okay. Okay, if you hadn't major, major, one more time. Major. Uh huh. If you ha hadn't major in what you do for a living now, what will you have major, major in or done for a living? Okay. And okay. let's see. Uh -huh. uh, before you start, uh, what did you major in? I am a software engineer. Very good. Okay, so if you hadn't become a um, software engineer, what would you have done for a living? What other type of job would you have had? Have uh, you ever thought about it? Yeah, if I uh, hadn't, uh, hadn't been a software engineer, mm -hmm. uh, I will I will have been a doctor. Oh, interesting. It's quite different. Um, why would you have liked to become a doctor if you hadn't become what you are now? Well, I, um, I like the, the, the that uh, profession. Mm -hmm. But I, when I was young, I, I, I thought that I was not too good in chemi chemistry. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I, I didn't study that. All right. That's, that's what I was, where I wanted to go, like what made you take the decision. So I understand it now. So I thought, I, okay, I wasn't so good at, repeat with me, I, I thought I wasn't so good at. I, I thought I wasn't too good at uh, chemistry. Okay, good. All right, so that was that was what um, made you make a choice. Okay, very yeah. good. Thank you for sharing with us. Let's see. Let's ask Heidi. The next question goes to you. Let's see. And you guys take your time to give me an answer. We're not rushing. What? That never bothered me. I'm sorry, Heidi. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay. So let's see. Uh, what would you have worn if it had been freezing cold when you woke up? Mm -hmm. What would you have worn? Mm. Because it wasn't freezing when you woke up, right? Mm -hmm. If it had been freezing cold when you woke up, mm -hmm. I would have worn a, a big sweater mm -hmm. or an um, scarf mm -hmm. and Freezing cold is like snowing, right? Yeah, like like in the US, <laughs> right? Something we've uh, never had over here. Uh -huh. And uh, I would have, I would have been uh, worn gloves, maybe, mm -hmm. okay. and and very um, warm socks. Oh yes, okay, very good. So repeat with me. See, I would have I would have worn repeat with me I would have worn I would have worn exactly okay very good which you didn't because it wasn't freezing cold when you woke up right no it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> it was totally the opposite all right yeah very good thank you Heidi let's see we're moving on to Fabrizio here comes your question here we go let's see all right Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Let's say what will have happened if you have been a Mozart level musical prodigy. <laughs> it's a weird <laughs> question, I know. As a matter of fact, it does not. I, 
I am an, an amateur musician actually. So oh really? I'm really in, into that kind of things. Okay. Yeah, it's a question I, I've been asking myself <laughs> so many times in my life. So it's not okay. Well, in this kind of country and mm -hmm. in my kind of context, I will probably mm, will make a difference, you know, in, in my life because probably my family wouldn't have the resources to, you know, like send me to a to a conservatory or to learn music because in here talents are just like lost in, in, oh, in the wind. So sad. <laughs> so right? yeah, I, I would probably be like those uh, kind of uh, person that got perfect pitch, you know, like they can hear and also mm -hmm. they can some some of them can sing. Uh, the exact note that you can that you play you know you mm -hmm. play a, a note they can say hey that's a, a c an a, a b exactly. in, in english so yeah. it will be <laughs> a sad, it's probably a sad answer but i believe that probably i wouldn't have make any different oh. from what i'm yeah. doing right now <laughs> So, but it's a, a, a it's a realistic answer based on what you said, right? The real situation here in the country, right? So, yeah. you say, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't have made a difference. Very good. Can you help me repeat it? This difference. Well, mm -hmm. I should not say it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have made mm -hmm. a difference. Oh, it wouldn't. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, and I heard you say also, wouldn't have. Okay, can you help me repeat this one as well? My family wouldn't have had the resource. Okay, so the resources. One more time, resources. Resources. There you go. All right, so very good answer, very good. So sad because I think this is most likely what happens to, to, to talented people sometimes, not only in this country, but, but this is a very common thing in, in Latin America. I guess, I would say. Thank you yeah. for sharing your point of view, Fabrizio. Let's go back to Jorge. Here we go, Jorge. If you had been born in Los Angeles, how will your life have been different? Because you weren't born there, right? Yeah, I would. Okay, very good. Let's confirm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, well, yeah, I guess um, maybe I, I, if I were, if I had, if I had uh, been born in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. I will, I will. Uh, I would have been a, an actor. I don't know. Oh, are you are you into acting as well? Are you interested? <laughs> I, no, actually, but I, I am just dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for for the purposes of this activity. Okay, very yeah. good. All right, it's interesting. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. What about Heidi? Who uh, would you have told if you had won the lottery mm -hmm. last Saturday? Mm -hmm. Who would you have told if I had won the lottery last Saturday? Probably I would have told my not my husband <laughs> my <laughs> my mom, <laughs> my uh, mom. let me ask you why not your husband first <laughs> i mean i can uh, understand telling mama first but let's see what's your answer oh because before before having a husband i had a mom <laughs> of course great answer very good <laughs> all right very good but would you have told your husband as well yes but the second the second person. <laughs> he would have been the second, okay. <laughs> After going shopping. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. Interesting answer. Interesting one. 
All right, let's see. Fabrizio. Yeah, let's see. Say, would you have told me if you had noticed that I had something stuck in my teeth? Uh -huh. Yeah, probably, but perhaps I, I will write you on the private WhatsApp and I will say, hey, uh, but it will have to be, you know, like a very big uh, something. What would be your <laughs> words? I, what would have been your words, your exact words? Uh, <laughs> Hey, Ryan, I'm sorry to sorry to to say this, but um, I'm noticing that there's something in your <laughs> in your teeth that I don't know if it's my camera, but mm -hmm. it's some I don't know. I will try to dilute it so you wouldn't say that. Hey, you got something <laughs> because I wouldn't like to point it out so so harshly, you know. So and and perhaps. and I have a question. Would you have would you have thought about telling me so much, or do you think you're that type of person who just acts or takes action at once like you don't i will have i will have waited so much because if <laughs> if, we, if i enter the class and you know we're like 15 minutes and only you and i perhaps i will have said it there i'm sorry Aaron, i mean now i don't know <laughs> i think i'm very shy that kind of, that's kind of thing but perhaps there was like you know a lot of people I will come right and say, hey, Ariana, I, I, you're, there's something in, in, in your thing and, and I believe that someone else, because I, I wouldn't want you to to get like mocked or something. So I, oh, or, or but, but I would be very right? sure. Exactly. I would be ashamed. Yeah, sorry. Okay, no sorry. problem. Actually, actually writing a message is, is, a, is the best thing. And I would appreciate it if, if you did it. So let's see, help me read the sentence right here. So we say, I would have written you. I would have written you. Written you. Very good. Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's see. Let's look at the last one. Okay, so let's see, Jorge, the last one goes to you and this is gonna be the very last question. Here we go. If you had known then what you know now, which a major will you have choose to send oh, at school? This is this is similar to something you have already answered. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's change it. Let's change it. If you had been framed for a crime that you didn't commit, what tool you have done? Mm -hmm. All right, so we say framed, one more time, framed. Framed. So if are you we had been, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sorry, I read it again, sorry. If you had been framed for a crime that you didn't commit, mm -hmm. what tool you have done? Mm -hmm. I, I was going to ask you before I interrupted you, sorry. Um, if you were okay with the term, Framed. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, it is a difficult situation when, uh, sure. uh, for this country because uh, yeah. we don't have, uh, I guess, very good lawyers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably, uh, uh, if I have been a framed for a crime that I didn't commit. Uh, mm -hmm. If the police uh, hasn't catch me yet, uh, probably I I will have to escape. Mm -hmm. So, if police, one more time. So if mm -hmm. so, if police mm -hmm. uh, have hadn't. Mm -hmm. Past participle of catch? It's cough. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Cough me get. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I will have a try to escape. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for being honest. I think this um, <laughs> crosses many people's mind these days. It's something I have heard before. All right. All right. Thank you for sharing your answers to these. Some of these questions were really random. Um, and well, just thank you for participating. And I want to ask you before we go, do you have any questions for me about this topic or about the homework assignment you're working on? Or are we good? From we good? my end, we're good. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about the rest? I'm good. At okay. All right. So once again, thank you for coming and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. See ya. Thank you. Bye. Good, good night. night. Thanks. Bye. Welcome.